Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make these little ribbon dresses for my dolls. What you'll need is some cotton fabric and some ribbons as well as a sewing machine and of course some thread. First I cut out my cotton approximately 7 by 7 inches. You can do 8 inches or 6 inches if you want a short or long dress. The ribbons that I am using are 3 8 of an inch. They are a really nice size for the dolls and you can buy them in 10 yard spools like this from Michaels or I also got these ones from Fabricland. To get started we're going to figure out the pattern we want to do with our ribbons so I simply measure them out and cut them and then play around with the ribbons until I find a pattern that I like. Once you're happy with your pattern, then we can get started with sewing. Now I'm going to sew the top edge and the bottom edge to add hems and just fold it over a little bit like 3 8 of an inch or however little that you can do on your sewing machine. And next we're going to prep our ribbons. So I am just using a regular glue stick here, laying out my pattern. And then I'm going to glue the back of the ribbon and then press it onto the cotton. You can also apply some of the glue onto the cotton directly and glue both sides. That way it'll stick really well, but it's up to you. Now I'm going to do a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. I'm going to turn the length down as well as turn the width down a little bit as well. This way we'll get a small zigzag that'll look proportionate with these ribbons. And go ahead and start zigzagging. And you can see how it's starting to look. They're super cute. Instead of cutting my thread at the end, I like to pivot. So I just simply put the needle down, lift up the foot, and then pivot my way down and over like so, and then I can do each ribbon. Make sure to do this on the edge so it doesn't peek through when we sew everything up. And this is what it should be looking like. Very cute. You can also use a matching thread if you wanted to or a contrasting color. Next, I'm gonna grab my elastic thread. To use the elastic thread, I'm going to wind it on my bobbin nice and gently like so, not pulling too hard, but also not pulling too loose. Then I'm going to put it in the bobbin casing. I recommend having a devoted bobbin casing with a looser tension. And then we're going to go ahead and start stitching. So I'm just using regular thread on top, back stitching, using the elastic on the bottom, and then stitching in straight lines to create the shearing or ruching effect. Again, I'm going to pivot to do my next line, and we're going to do four lines very close together, about two or three millimeters apart. Once you're done, make sure to back stitch again, and then you can take the piece out. And you'll see that it'll be starting to take shape already. So you can see it's starting to curve, we can see the waist is tighter, as well as it's also stretchy like this, making it easy to put on top of the doll. Next, we're going to take some elastic to do the finishing touches. So I'm taking this 3 8 elastic and then I'm going to cut about 4 or 5 inches approximately, however much it takes stretched out to do the whole top hem like so. And then when you go to sew it down, just make sure that you are pulling the elastic tight as you sew. This way it is going to give you a stretchy effect similar to the shirring in the middle. I forgot to film the sewing, so here is it is all done like so. You can see even more stretchy and even more gathered like so. Now you can see the shape has come together, so all we have to do now is sew the dress up. This is our last step, so we're just going to line everything up and we're going to sew the waist as well as down the skirt. I recommend starting from the bottom to make your, sure that your ribbons are lined up just like so and then start at the bottom and sew all the way up, making sure to come in at the waist. I'll show you here in a second on the sewing machine. Starting at the bottom, close to the edge, make sure to back stitch, sew all the way up like so. Once you've gone past the ribbons, you can start to curve your way inward toward the waist, and you'll see you'll go over the elastics and then over the elastic at the top, like so. Then once you're done, you can trim off all the excess and try it on your doll. Make sure that it is fitting properly, not too tight and not too loose. And ta-da, here it is, all done. I really hope you guys like this video. I'd love to see what you create. Tag me if you do. And as always, have a beautiful day.